I've got empties. It's that time again. Let's go tripping through my trash. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Well, as I said, I'm going through my empties today. Now, normally, I do it about every two months. And this time, it's only been a month, but I thought it would go quicker if I just go ahead and do it now. So that's what I'm doing. Now, any of you that have been here for a while know that I don't have a lot when it comes to empties. I mean, a variety of things. I use a lot of the same things over and over. They're my tried and truth and what I enjoy. So, I kind of think my empties can be boring. But I asked you all before if you wanted me to continue to do empties or not. And 99% of you said, yes, you love empties videos. So, I'll keep doing them. As I said, I don't have a lot. I have a couple hair care items, of course, body care, and some skin care. No makeup again. I don't know. <laughs> Once in a while, I'll have one thing of makeup, like maybe, I don't know what I've ever had. <laughs> maybe I haven't had any. But, um, we'll just go ahead and get this thing started. So I'll start off with hair care. As most of you know, I'm not really loyal to any hair care products. I try different ones. I have been using this Joico shampoo. This one happens to be the moisture recovery one, but they have all different ones with different names on it. I get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's $9.99 and I think I've been using this stuff for over a year now. I really do like this. Now, if they quit selling it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I'll just switch to something else. I went through this Tresemme, the Ultra Fine. The hold level is number three. This is actually my third, no, this is my second can. I have a third one in the bathroom that I just bought because this one's bone dry. So that's saying something for me because I try a different hairspray every time I need one. But I really do enjoy this. I think it's because it's ultra fine and I like that. And the hold on it is number three. It goes from one to five. So it's not sticky or it doesn't make your hair feel like helmet hair. It's just enough to give you a hold. But you don't feel like you have that sticky hairspray. So I've really been enjoying this. Have any of you ever tried it? And if you have, do you like it as much as I do? And the last hair care empty I have is this Garnier, this hair paste. I might be holding that upside down, but anyhow, it's pure clean finishing paste. Now I know a lot of guys wear like a, a thick kind of hair paste to kind of spike up the front of their hair. This is not like that. Well, this one's empty, but I have another one because I'm really enjoying it. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a white paste, but see how kind of creamy it is? It's not um, thick and hard. And what I do is get some between my fingers, rub them together, and after I've washed and dried my hair, but before I put hot rollers in, I have these little fine baby hairs sticking up all over the place. I just run my fingers through my hair, and it just lays all those little baby hairs down. So this lasts me a long time because I don't need much. I just use it in the very front of my head, and I really enjoy this. I went through a Pond's moisturizing cream. Now, I did not buy this. This came from my friend, Billy, who passed away. And she had three or four of these. And she wanted me to have all her, like, body lotions and face creams and everything. So, this was given to me. I've really enjoyed it. 
I've put it on my face, my neck, my chest. It's a good size container. I mean, that's pretty deep there. And um, I have so many creams and lotions and potions, as you all know. So I'm not going to buy this because I definitely don't need any. But I certainly did enjoy it. And if I didn't have any other kind of night cream, I would purchase this. Now I want to talk about self tanners. This Jurgens Natural Glow, this is empty, but I have another one. This I have decided is the way for me to go. Now I love all the Jurgens uh, self tanners. They have all different ones and they have that one that you use in the shower after you've had your shower and you're still in there and you're wet. It's just a white lotion that you rub on and then gradually it turns a little shade of tan. Just, just a nice even glow and I really enjoy that. This is similar. It's white. It's a lotion. It's a moisturizer but it has a little bit of self tanner in it where you're not going to get this deep bronzy color but you are going to get a nice looking color and you put this on after the shower and you don't need a mitt or anything you just use your hands put it on like any kind of body lotion and gradually it will turn to a, a nice sun-kissed look and I usually do it two times like two days in a row I'll do it one morning and then I'll do it the next morning and then that gives me enough color and that lasts me all week now I used to use this is also Jurgens, the instant Sun this is your typical self tanner it's a brown mousse you have to use one of those mitts you have to get it on real even or if you have crinkly, crepey, wrinkled skin, which I certainly do, it can settle in the texture of your skin. And then it's like a dark line here and a dark line there. And I just can't wear it anymore. It does give you a, a much more bronzed look. But it's not worth it to get those dark lines, to worry about getting it even. You know, it's hard to have a smooth, silky look when you have textured skin. And then you have to be careful around your elbows and knees and ankles because that could turn them darker. So I'm putting away the self-tanners like this in the mitts and I'm just sticking to these moisturizers that have a little self-tanner in it. Went through another sugar scrub. It's the one by Tree Hut. This one was pink hibiscus. Oh my gosh, did that smell good. I love all the different scents. You can get these at Walmart, Target, Amazon, anywhere. Most of the stuff I'm showing you, you can get in Walmart or any drugstore, Target, or anything. And of course, every empties, I have my Olay Shea Butter body wash. I don't need to say anything about it. You know all about it. It's all we use. I could say the same thing. These are in all my empties. It's the Eucerin Intensive Repair Body Balm. Love this stuff. My gosh, I go through it so quickly. It's not like Vaseline, greasy like that. The texture is just a, a soft, creamy, balm like texture and oh my goodness I use it on my face my whole body I mix it in with my lotion my body lotion and later that day I may just put some additional on just rub it on my skin absolutely love this I love it under my eyes and on my eyelids that's what I use at night before I go to bed is this I have this Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I decided to give this a try. I'll tell you what, I have probably 10 to 12 facial cleansers that I use because I love to try different ones. 
You know, a facial cleanser isn't on your face that long. And as long as they're fragrance-free and you can get them at any drugstore, Walmart, anywhere, I try a wide variety of cleansers. So this was fine. I had no problem with it. But I've got like 10 more in there that I'm rotating. I use a different one every morning and a different one in the evening and I just go through all of them. Yeah, it is a nice product. It's fragrance free. It's good for all skin types. It's good for sensitive skin. There's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to give it a try and I did and now I'll move on and try something else. I went through this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Hydrogel Moisturizer. It was fine, but I like this better. This is the same thing, e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. They're both fragrance-free. They have hyaluronic acid, peptides. I just like the cream better. It's a little thicker to me, so I'm not going to repurchase this one. I'm just going to stick with this one. So now I just have three skincare products to show you and then I'll be finished. This is a like a hydrating serum. It's called Beta Glucan Moisturizing Serum. It's by a company called iUnique. I-U-N-I-K. I gave this a try. I did finish it. There was nothing wrong with it, but there was nothing special about it. So I won't be repurchasing that. Beta-glucan is supposed to be very hydrating for your skin and good for your skin. But I just didn't notice anything. And I use other hydrating products that work so much better for me. So maybe my skin is just drier, but I was not impressed with this. And I believe it was 1999 on Amazon. If you've ever used it, let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. It was just, eh, just a serum to me. I finished this bottle, which was 3.38 ounces, so that's a pretty good size bottle. It's Madagascar Centella Ampule. I really enjoyed this. Now, this was hydrating to me. It's also calming. It's gentle on the skin. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's made of 100% Centella Asiatica. Nothing else in here but that. I get it from Amazon. It was $18. This is the first bottle I've ever tried and went through, and I am repurchasing it. It's a watery type serum. It's not sticky at all. Some people hate that sticky feeling. This is not sticky. It's almost like water. But it is very soothing and calming and moisturizing. And I like the way it felt on my skin. And the last empty I have is my Hada Labo Gokujin Premium Lotion. I've had this for three years. Well, not this bottle, but I've been using this for three years. I buy it over and over and over. I love it. It's more of a thick type serum. This is the empty one, but here's my full one. So I'll show you what that looks like. It gives a beautiful glow. It's very plumping. This is $14.98. It's a fantastic hydrator because it has seven different types of hyaluronic acid and they are at different molecular weights. I'm telling you, it's some powerful stuff. I love hyaluronic acid. I think it's great for mature skin, dry skin. This is good for all skin types. It has no fragrance or anything like that. It has no oils in it. It also contains urea, which is great for your skin. So I put this on after I've done my other skin care. That's the last thing I put on is this. And then I put my moisturizer on top of that. I really feel it plumps up my skin and keeps it hydrated. So I definitely recommend this.
Well, that's all the empties I have this time. I'm not going to list them all because everything I showed you, with the exception of the two or three skincare items, you can get anywhere. You can get it at Walmart. You could get it at Walgreens, any drugstore, Target. You know, it's just your basic stuff. The skincare, like this Hada Labo Premium Lotion and this uh, Madagascar Centella, those I get on Amazon. Now, I do not have an Amazon store. I'll be happy to list these both for you at the bottom and give you the link and you can look at them if you want to but I have no affiliation with Amazon at all I'll do that for your convenience if you want to check it out well that's all I have so let me go ahead and leave you with an inside beauty tip my inside beauty tip today comes from Matthew 5 15 through 17 be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. You know, that passage is so self-explanatory, but it's basically telling us to be mindful of of our actions and it's encouraging us not to waste our time to spend it wisely we live in a world where sin and temptation are rampant and we we have to guard against that we can't fall into that sin and believe me these days are very evil and i think we all could agree on that this passage also encourages us to seek the will of God so that we can live by that and align our lives with His will. That's something that I have learned to do now when I pray. And that's always end my prayer with, If it be your will, Lord. Because, you know, we pray for lots of different things. And sometimes it's not in the will of God. We aren't necessarily going to know what His will is. But we have to want His will far more than we want our own. So seeking His will is very important. And I think it's an important line to add to every prayer. I just think this verse says a whole lot and we really do have to be careful how we live, how we spend our time, keep our eye open for evil that is surrounding us and seek the will of the Lord. So basically this passage is calling us to live wisely. To look all around and beware of all the evil that surrounds us. To make good use of our time and to seek and understand the will of God. I think that's a good way to live. I think it's the only way to live, especially in today's world. So this passage helped me a great deal and I hope it has you too. Thank you so much for being here. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.